Hey guys, it's TyKevin83 here, and I'm going to bring you guys today an update on a phenomenon that we've been investigating in the Pokemon speedrunning community. Uh, and it came out of a development from a speedrun done by Exarian about two years ago. This, what I'm showing you here, uh, here on the screen, is a catch chance calculator for Gen 1 uh, Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. And they, these all exist like all over the internet, and there's a great one already from Dragonfly Cave. And I actually talked to the maker of that one a little bit in the creation of this catch rate calculator. But the, the core uh, point here is that we had to make a, a new one because we found some stuff when Exarian did a speed run of Ash Percent two years ago. Ash Percent being a somewhat meme speedrun category for Pokemon Yellow where you sort of uh, play as if you were actually Ash in the anime. So you have to catch a Caterpie and evolve it into Metapod and then Butterfree and you have to release the Butterfree and then you have to catch a Charmander and you have to use the Charmander for his whole stretch of the run and you can't evolve it and then you have to the, the, the core point here with the catch chance is that in the anime Ash catches 29 Tauros and Exarian then wanted to catch 29 Tauros so he did that and what he discovered while he was catching the Tauros is that he seemed to have much lower actual, like, real-world um, catches than the catch formula at Dragonfly Cave or other sources would expect the catch rate to be. And it wasn't anything wrong with that formula. There's nothing wrong with the catch formula of um, the Dragonfly Cave calculator. It is using the exact same formulas for RNG that the game uses. But the problem it is that it doesn't use the same input RNG that the game uses. The game actually is very limited in the RNG that can go into the catch formula and, co and come out the other side. And a great example of how this works is with uh, encounters in Gen 1. Encounters have this like gating effect where in order to get encounter in an encounter at all, your RNG has to be in this small window where it would generate an encounter. Like, y you don't get an encounter every time you step through grass. You only get them sometimes. So there's this, like, number, I think it's 25 in a lot of grass patches, where if your RNG is below that, it will give you an encounter. So if that's only, like, 1 in 10 of the possible RNGs, because like, it's an 8-bit number, 255 max, so it's, like, a, a little bit less than 1 in 10 steps gives you a encounter in these patches of grass. So your like set of all possible initial RNG values is restricted when you get an encounter, and then this ends up affecting all of the RNG that goes into generating the encounter, like creating its stat values, the DVs, which are like the IVs of later Pokemon generations. And so there, there's only like 20% uh, of the actual possible... DVs out of the whole like 100% range um, because of this gating effect with the encounter rate. And uh, there's a similar effect in the catch chance calculations because of something called a rejection sample. So I'm going to demonstrate how this works by actually using the calculator. Um, I've got set up here a example encounter. We do this in Pokemon Yellow the Nidoran male at level 6. If you were just to spam Pokeballs at it, you can see that it's a 33.76% catch chance. And this is identical between our new calculator, what I call the actual catch chance, and the one that Dragonfly Cave and other sources would give you, the intended catch chance from the formulas. Now if we instead say, let's use an Ultra Ball to catch the Nidoran male. You can see how the rates change. The intended catch chance did go up with the Ultra Ball, but the actual catch chance dropped dramatically. And this is because to generate an Ultra Ball uh, catch chance or, or catch um, like scenario, it limits the initial RNG to first for the Great Ball. It, it will say, okay, now it has to be below 200. 
and then it limits it again and saying it has to be below 150. Again, this is 8-bit numbers to the max 255. So it's limiting like huge sections of the initial RNG from ever existing to create a ultra ball scenario. And the outcome of this is that just by pure happenstance, the limited values are the ones that would make you more likely to catch a Pokemon. Or like if you were to use them, you would actually catch the Pokemon. And so the ones that we actually get are the ones that on the side of um, not catching the Pokemon. But this is a variable. It, it changes based on some of the other math that happens before you uh, throw the Ultra Ball. So you can see if you like move the HPs around, uh, for instance here, uh, we're at like a little bit less than half of the max HP. And in, in this scenario, with the same Ultra Ball, we are actually getting a higher in than intended chance of catching the Nidoran male. So it's not strictly like it, this, uh, this behavior always makes catch chances worse. It will be vary depending on the exact scenario. So there's all sorts of pr processing done to to math out the RNG and figure this out. But it's it's showing here that you get a 92.3% instead of a 91.2% for an Iteran male in this scenario where you have a lower uh, percent of max HP. Now, here's the next fun bit. So back to the initial scenario. Um, Ixarian was throwing safari balls at Tauros, and Dragonfly Cave would have you believe that that's a 10.5-ish percent, or 10.4 or 10.5%. So let's pump that scenario into the calculator. So it's Tauros, it's level 26 in yellow, and it is a safari ball at max HP because you can't damage the HP of a Pokemon in the Safari Zone. And we'll check that catch right, and you can see here, this is how the uh, rejection sampling in the RNG creation uh, actually makes it <laughs> massively different to catch Tauros than what you would expect from evenly distributed initial RNG across all of the possible initial values. So, the dragonfly cited catch chance here would be 10.41%, and the catch chance that actually happens on the real game is closer to 6.6%, and this is also closer to what Ixarian observed in like uh, sampling the actual trials. And uh, I ended up making this calculator here to go through and I'll let you do this for any uh, scenario. Uh, in part because uh, Poke Guy was doing Ash percent runs, and I wanted him to have access to that same information and uh, across all of the different encounters. And it's also just it generally helpful to see really w like what kind of thresholds you need for for different RNG. Uh, and th you can see the same thing with the Dragonfly Cave calculator. But if you uh, if you reduce a Pokemon's max HP below fifty percent. It almost always uh, has no effect on the RNG beyond that 50%. Um, once, once you've got the HP below 50%, it really starts to uh, drop off in value. And there's also this phenomenon that was previously known about uh, Great Balls at max HP. If you're at max HP, the Great Ball is considerably better than a Pokeball. And again, even better than an Ultra Ball because of how the uh, formulas work out. Now this is really for any Pokemon. You could go to like Onyx, Onyx, oh, yep, Ultra Ball is a lot worse than the Great Ball. It just, it works all over the place. And you can see that there is a slight difference in actual and intended catch chance still on the Great Ball because there is one round of rejection sampling for the Great Ball, but the Ultra Ball is the most seriously affected by the scenario because there are two rounds of rejection sampling when it generates a ultra ball catch. So if if you're interested in this kind of thing more, I, I streamed a lot of the creation of this calculator. And, I, and if you're really interested in like the math 
and programming aspects behind the calculator works. I'm going to do a second follow-up video here explaining exactly how this calculator was developed and the technical differences. But for here, I really just wanted to give a overview of the uh, actual like real-world scenarios and a quick, quick overview of, of the red concept of rejection sampling that causes this sort of... Um, wildly different real-world RNG behavior than simply running formulas against a evenly distributed RNG. So thank you for watching, and if you enjoy the calculator, check out the streams on twitch.tv slash 3 Thank you.